Hi, Kevin Coop here, and this is FaceTime with the Content Guy. So, I'm about to do something that you're not going to expect. I am about to say something nice about Sears. Oh my God, what was that? I think it was hell freezing over. Oh my God! Anyway, here's the deal. You know, I don't shop at Sears very often. In fact, I probably haven't bought anything at Sears in more than a decade. I go in every once in a while for professional reasons, but actually shop there? I don't think so. But... We needed a snowblower. The old snowblower had crapped out on us. We needed a new one. And there is a basic rule of thumb here in the Northeast, right? If you don't have a snowblower, it's going to snow like it would above the Arctic Circle. But if you do have one, yeah, it's probably not going to snow so much. And let me tell you something. I hate snow. I've hated snow since I was 12 years old and I had a paper wrap. I hate this stuff. So, man, we got to have a snow blower because I really don't want to have to deal with it. So, anyway, so... Uh, we did some research, we went online, we you know, looked at different companies and if different retailers and different snowblowers, and we looked around and it ended up that Sears had the best the selection, the best prices, the best ratings, so we figured, okay, we're going to get it at Sears. Now, this is not the kind of purchase, despite my usual habits, that I'm going to make online. Uh, and a big part of the reason is, you know, if they you buy it online, they're going to ship it to, to you and then you have to assemble it. Now, there are a lot of guys out there who can assemble that sort of thing. I would not be one of those guys. So I found, you know, I, I know where the local is. Local Sears is. It's 25 miles away. Get in the car. I drive up, go to the home and garden section, and there's a really nice guy there named Thada who's uh, working in that section. I tell him what I need. I tell him how big my driveway is and how much long the walkway is, and um, he takes me over and he shows me the snow blowers and he explains what the different options are. He says what the prices are. He says what the sales are. Now, I can't make a decision, I tell them, because actually, because it's so expensive, we're actually going to share it with a couple of neighbors. So I need to check with them. They're at work. I can't do it right there. He sends me an email with everything broken out for me. When I get home, I forward the email to uh, my neighbors. A couple of days later, they send me emails back. They said, absolutely, we're in. I then call Thada because I have his phone number. Make the purchase, not a problem. Now, i got to go back to Sears because part of picking it up means they're going to assemble it. I'm thinking this is where the whole thing is going to break down, right? Because this is going to be a nightmare. Either there's going to be a long line or a long wait or it's not going to be done. So I pull up to the, the, uh, the pickup dock at Sears. I go inside. And in about 30 seconds, a guy comes out and says, can I help you? I tell him what my name is. I hand him the slip of paper. I uh, you know, tell him what I'm looking for. He says, not a problem. Goes back. In less than two minutes, he and another guy roll the fully assembled snowblower out. They bring it out to the car. We open the back. They stick it in the back of the car. I sign something, and they're gone before I can even tip them. It's unbelievable. I'm in the car in less than, like, six minutes. I'm out of that place. It is unbelievable. I'm on my way home. It was one of the best shopping experiences I've had. Now, do I have to make two 50-mile round trips to Sears to do this? Absolutely. But in this case, going to the store had value to me. It would made sense for me to do it because of my basic limitations uh, in other areas. And that's really important. You know, they've identified that there are certain places where they can add value to the shopping experience. This was absolutely fabulous. Uh, and the best news is we haven't had any snow because we got a snowblower in the garage. This is great. But, you know, listen, Sears, they got their issues. Uh, no question about it. I don't know if they'll survive under the current management, the current ownership. I have no idea what the long-term prognos uh, prognosis is for Sears. But I will tell you this. When it comes to this particular category and this kind of shopping experience, these guys got game. They were terrific. I loved every moment of it because um, they made it so easy for me. And, you know, even with a guy with my limitations, it really worked. So anyway, that's what's on my mind this Thursday morning. As always, I want to hear what's on your mind.